Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with this bad boy right here. One full case of brand new Modern Horizons 2 Collector Boosters. Now I'm excited to go ahead and check this product out. Of course today is the official release date for Modern Horizons, Friday, June 18th. And I am very excited as I haven't had the chance to open any Collector Boosters yet. Last week I did open up a set booster for pre-release weekend. I'll go ahead and link that video right up there. Not going to be opening up another set booster for us today. Day, but I do have a personal break for Aaron coming up later with another set booster. But besides this six box collector booster case opening, next up I'll be opening up a regular draft booster and afterwards be checking out that bundle as well for Modern Horizons 2. Other new releases today include Pokemon Chilling Rain, and of course we'll be checking out a booster box of that later today as well. But I'm very excited to go ahead and get on into these collector boosters. Now I have been pulling some pre-orders from cards from this product, and I must say I'm very curious to see if on camera a difference will show between the etched retro border and the regular retro border foils. Now those look very, very similar. The way I describe the difference between the etched and the regular foils is the etched ones look dirty. Uh, they look very grainy, so that's the way I've been able to tell them apart. Otherwise, I mean, I know I've joked about it before, saying, Wizards, why limit yourself? Why choose between the two previously established etch foil styles? And they went for a third one, so very curious to see if they're going to continue making new different styles of etch. Of course, we had those Strixhaven etched uh, Japanese alternate art and regular art of the Mystical Archives, and those Commander Legends, which had a similar looking texture to the ones that are in here but of course the coloration was very different you could easily tell that that was the etched foil variant these not so much so i'm curious if we'll even be able to tell a difference on camera but this video is going to be quite long i am actually going to go ahead and put timestamps for each box so that our recap in the description so that way if you guys want to jump around the video see what each collector booster has to offer you could do that but let's go ahead and jump on into it i expect this to probably take about an hour just because i like to sort everything so we'll see at the end curious to see how many of those old the fetch lands will find how many of the monkey ragavan that red mythic monkey and of course any other awesome cards this set is filled with them so i'm excited to jump on into it by snapping us into the corner i'm still using the niv mats i was tempted to use some of the new modern horizons 2 play mats but i love this niv mat too much um niv was with us actually on wednesday when i opened up five cases of brand new game of thrones product for the shop still working on getting those singles listed boss man was supposed to price stuff and then he left a bit early so i'll get to that later this afternoon i actually showed up to work super early today i actually got here at 6 a.m so it's currently 8 24 i was doing lots of orders clearing off some pre-orders just so that way I made space on my opening area here. And we're starting off with Collector Booster Box number one, age 13 plus, although I don't really know many teenagers that would be able to afford Modern Horizons 2 Collector Boosters. Maybe individual packs, but prices on these are nuts. Of course, cost was much higher than regular standard sets across the board. It was very interesting to see when they first announced Modern Horizons and it went up for order for shops. I was very surprised to see the set boosters and the bundles. Like, I was like, all right, collector boosters, that's like a thing of current times. Of course, didn't have any of that for Modern Horizons 1. But it was weird seeing bundles for a specialty product. And of course, the set boosters, which makes sense. Those set boosters are now Watsy's thing for the buy a box promos, which is Sanctum Prelate. Might have a few of these left. Most people in store during pre-release weekend and for pre-orders have been getting the draft boosters and collector boosters rather than set boosters. So if you're local to the Tampa Bay area, make sure you come drop by. We do have every type of product available, tons of singles. Bossman opened up a ton of Modern Horizons 2 this week, so should be able to find just what you're looking for. Exact address and website linked in the description down below. So here looks like an etched foil. That is planes. You can tell, like I said, it looks grainy. All right, so it does show up not too bad on camera. Good to know, good to know. We have this card, I meant to practice. Now in that set booster box opening, I just said that crazy named card and Jinxie in the comments wasn't very happy about that, wanted me to try it. So this is for you, Jinxie. We have extended art. Let me take a look at it. Asmora Nomara Dekadai Stinadaculador. No. Asmora Nomardica Dystinaculador. 
Something like that. Something along those lines. But we're going back to calling it that crazy named card. Shout out to you, Jinxie. I tried. <laughs> that was an honest attempt. I know not very good, but it was an honest attempt. All right. We have our showcase sketch variants. We'll see how many different piles we need. Hey, look at that. We have the sketch variant Urza Saga. That's a nice pull. All right. Sketch Jade Avenger foil. Chatterstorm. That is the retro border, non-etched. This is an etched Aeromiba. Okay. And damn, etched. Nice. That is a nice pull. Damn, Daniel. Anyways. I never had Vine when I was younger. Hey, look at that. Old, old foil Chatterfang. That's cool. All right. We're definitely needing a lot of piles. Shout out to that squirrel token. All right. So how do I want to do this? Do, 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 do. All right. I think I'm going to have to be combining mythics and rares on the retro style. Ooh. Well, hmm. All right, I'll stick with this for now, and then we'll have our different extended arts. Okay, all right, we'll stick with this piling. I know I'm, my face down here in the corner is blocking a decent amount, but we'll see how this goes. And I will adjust our piles as needed. Like I said, this is my first time opening up collector boosters. Bossman got to open some up already. I think Bossman actually opened up a couple cases of collector boosters, but I haven't done so yet, so... have to get used to what we're finding here. Extended art dam. Jade Avenger, Murktide Regent and Mythic, Sketch, Blacksmith Skill, Gargadon, Undead Augur, that is an etched, it's actually I think maybe the easiest to see whether it's etched or not on the texture of the Shooting Star, and Gaia's Will, etched, Mirari's Wake, Borderless, Mythic Foil, Alright, foil rare, mythic, foil mythic. Yeah, I mean, we could have some rares here. Foil. Alright, I think this is okay for now. Here's to see how many fetch lands we'll find. How many force of negations. Would love to find at least one here in the case. Mountain etched. Hey, Vernet Catacombs. Extended art. Nice. Phantasmal Dreadmaw, Vindicate. All right, so I did need the pile for the rares. Late to Dinner, King of the Pride, Bone Shredder. This is an etched foil. Calibrated Blast, etched. All right. Yep, that is etched. And the Soul Talisman is not etched. Okay. Another squirrel token. It's fun hunting those foil squirrel tokens in Unstable when that product came out. Now we have not drunk squirrel tokens. Sanctum Weaver. Prophetic Titan. Harmonic Prodigy. Marble Gargoyle. Undead Augur. Glimmer Baron etched. I like this little guy in his bee costume. Very cute, very cute. Etched Fire and Ice. Foil Thought Monitor. That's nice. Sketch Variants. And our token. Okay. So, looks like my piling strategy that I normally use isn't necessarily working out very well here. So. I think I'll readjust after the first box is complete. All right, we've had that extended art verdant so far. That was our first fetch. Timeless Dragon extended. Esper Sentinel showcase. Terminal Agony sounds very unfortunate. Prophetic Titan foil. Patrick Gnomes etched. Prismatic Vista, that is an etched basic fetch. Territorial Kavu, Extended Art Foil Rare. It's our first foil extended art. 
actually going to go ahead and sleeve up that prismatic vista. I think I will just go ahead and sleeve up our fancier etched foils. And of course, we find like foilers, a saga, and whatnot, things like that. I'll go ahead and put them up there. Easy access for our recap. I know that Chatterfang Mythic started off super high. I've noticed prices have been adjusting on that, of course, over the past week. And I'm certain a lot of prices will still be adjusting this weekend as a lot of people are getting their singles. I won't sleeve it just quite yet. Piri the Volatile Extended Art Rare. Kitchen Imp, Obsidian Charma, or Charma. Faithless Salvaging, Step Through, Chatterstorm. There's a foil etched. Deep Forest Hermit, etched rare. And Persist, regular old border foil. Lots of squirrel tokens in this box. Island etched, love that art. Master of Death, Fractured Sanity, Salvaging, Mind Collapse, Talisman of Curiosity etched, Sword of Sinew and Steel etched, nice, Mythic etch, Timeless Dragon extended art rare foil, Plains Etch Soul Talisman Extended Art. Moderation Showcase. A regular Foil Glimmer Baron. Like I said, love that little bee costume. Defile Etched. Patriarch's Bidding Etched Rare. And Sisse Weatherlight Captain. Regular Old Border Foil. That is, of course, from Modern Horizons 1. Do have some of those available in the retro frame and etched retro frame, I believe as foils only. It's interesting on TCG Player they are listed still as Modern Horizons One. Of course, they are using that same set symbol, but it was odd. I was trying to search cards when I was listing a lot of pre-orders. Hey, look at that borderless Cabal coffers. That's a nice pull. Actually, probably sleeve that up. But I was trying to search and I was like, why aren't they pulling up? They are actually listed under Modern Horizons Original. So if you're looking for those cards on TCG Player and Modern Horizons 2, you're like, why can't I find them? It's because they're actually listed under Modern Horizons 1, which I find interesting. I understand why. I'm just interesting. We have Ignoble High Arc, etched, nice, etched foil. Unmarked Grave, Extended Art Foil Rare. And I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up that Ignoble High Arc and that Cabal Coffers. Borderless. Well, actually. If it was foil, I'd sleeve it. Right now, don't want to have too much in this pile up here. All right, this is a very nice pull, though. They're running out of space already, however. Okay. Island etched Brea's Apprentice. Verdant Command. Soul Snare, World Weary, Blazing Root Walla, etched. Hey, Verdant Catacombs, etched. Nice. Diamond Lion, Retro Regular. Let's sleeve up that Verdant. I saw at one point last week, somebody was listing Verdant Catacombs for only $20 on TCG Player. So they had gotten down to 20 and I think they're back up to a little over 30 So definitely if you managed to snag those, got a great deal. I know Bossman was attempting to do some buyouts on cards like the Fetchlands. Was also eyeballing, I think, Esper Sentinel. Don't believe he got either of those. Resurgent Belief, Extended Art. Sylvan Anthem. Aramoeba. I just love the name of this card and also the fact it's a flying manatee. It looks crazy. Talisman of Conviction. Bone Shards, etched. Ayula, Queen Among Bears, etched, of course, from Modern Horizons 1. Persist, Rare Foil. All right, this is our last pack of box number one. The box fell over, that's okay. And 
and I will straighten up our piles and get on into box number two of six of this case. Mountain, Misty, nice. Gargadon, Gaiadrone Dehada. That's the first of hers that I pulled. Did not pull her in the set booster. She has crazy art too. And when I first looked at her, I didn't realize she had a bunch of tentacles. She has a lot of tentacles. Talisman of Curiosity, Etched Greed, and Etched Marsh Flats. Nice. Two etched fetches. And I mean the basic fetch if you want to count Prismatic Vista in this box. You also got two extended arts. All right. Let's move that box out of the way. And I've decided I do actually want to pull out the Verdant, the Misty, the Cabal Coffers, and that Squirrel General. We'll, of course, have our recap at the end of the case, but we're going to have our special little highlight pile. I love these. I love these extended art fetches. They're so gorgeous. And the Chatterfang Squirrel General. I think my favorite style of cards are the borderless, like that Cabal Coffers. But I really do like the Extended Arts as well. I was very pleased when I saw them make their debut as those box toppers in Ultimate Masters. Nice that they found a way to continue making them. Of course, being in collector boosters, those Extended Arts. They can get ridiculously expensive, but it makes sense. I mean, it's a premium version of a card that you can find in the regular product. But still. It also makes them feel a bit less special. Let me know how you feel about the extended arts. Like I said, they started off as those box toppers in Ultimate Masters. Now it feels like they're they're everywhere. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts and which one is your favorite borderless extended arts. Do you like a specific showcase frame, whether it be these sketch variants or some of the others? Let me know in the comments down below. Swamp etched tarn, nice. Harvest, Archon of Cruelty, Ornithopter of Paradise, Nested Shambler, etched, Hall of Heliod's Generosity, is etched as well, Caldra Completes, Showcase, Foil Mythic, nice. Oh, I should sleeve up that tarn, I'll do it after the second pack of box number two. Burb Token on the back. Profane Tutor, Thought Monitor, non-foil, Etchings of the Chosen, non-etched, Fairy Seer, etched, Ice Fang Coddle, it's an etched, and Leonis, Cryptozoologist, foil rare, Douthy Voidwalker, definitely not a bad rare. Subtlety, Borderless Mythic, Talisman of Ararchy, Etched Ornithopter of Paradise, Braid's Cabal Minion, Etched, Usury, Fortune's Flame, Extended Art Foil Rare. Haven't had any Extended Art Mythics, actually, now that I mention it, my dumb self is like, wait, they're all actually borderless. So that makes our pile adjustment a bit better. Now that I mentioned, I'm like, oh yeah, they're actually not extended art mythics. They're all borderless in this set. I'm so used to them existing that I just automatically made the space. Glimpse of tomorrow. Search the premises. Blazing Root Walla. Underworld Cookbook, etched. Arid Mesa, etched. Nice. And Sword of Hearth and Home. Regular foil retro. That's our third etched fetch. We also had Marsh Flats and Verdant. I'm actually going to put them together. Doop, 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 doop. Also, Ignoble High Arc. Void Mirror, General Ferris, 
Blacksmith Skill, Gargadon Foil, Goblin and Archomancer etched, Sisse etched, and Void Mirror Extended Art Foil. Last pack on the left half of box number two. Necrogoyf, Dacalon, Shadow Slayer, Goblin, and Narcomancer, Regular Foil, Counterspell, Etched, Titania, Protector of Argoth, Etched Mythic, and a Foil, Yavimaya, Cradle of Growth. That's nice. We'll actually go ahead and sleeve that on up as well. I've been pleasantly surprised by the price of Yavimaya for being a new land in its fancy variants. Extended art foils and retro foils alike. Forest, Chef's Kiss, Lonus, Cryptozoologist, Ephemerate Foil, Extruder Etched, Void Mirror Etched, and Counterspell, Borderless Foil Rare. I've actually messed up some of my piles. Let me tidy them up real quick. Was initially separating out. I have commons and uncommons mixed together, and then rares and mythics mixed. Wished I ha wish I was able to have piles for each of the different etch type, but there is not enough space. All right, just doing some housekeeping, and then we'll get on into our next pack. Interesting to see that all the basics are etched foils in the collector boosters. Academy Manufacturer, Nykthos Paragon, Lanawar Tribe, Mind Collapse etched, Chance Encounter etched, Borderless Subtly foil. Nice mythic. We have a lot of people locally asking for play sets of grief. Unfortunately, as Bossman has joked, it's been giving him grief to be able to find them. Having a hard time pulling that mythic. I did find one in our set booster box we opened up. Hey, look, there's a borderless grief. So that's a nice find. Definitely, at least for us, difficult to pull. Curious to see. Maybe we'll see a lot today. Perhaps Boss Man was just unlucky, or perhaps it is a bit harder. Of course, there are a ton of mythics in this set, so... Hey, that's nice. We have Etched Force of Negation. Nice, nice. Sanctifier Unvec. Regular foil. Definitely getting a sleeve for that Force of Negation. Now, it has been a couple days. Last time I checked, though, when I was listing pre-orders, like I said, prices are going down, up, down, up, down, so... I, last time I'd seen the etched Force of Negations were around 215 and the regular old retro frame foils were about 300. So I'm curious. Typically on release weekend, single prices drop. So I'm curious what it's going to end up at. And that is definitely a very nice pull here in box number two. Should have had you guys predict how many forces that we'd find in this case, but... Too late for that. Garth One Eye, Ornithopter of Paradise, Squirrel, Calibrated Blast, Extended Art Foil, The box number two has been very nice. We did have the Yavi Maya Retro Frame Regular Foil, Force Etched Retro, also did have that Extended Art Scalding Tarn. A lot of goodies here. Etched Noble, or not etched, Wretch, no. Showcase, there we go. So many variants. Ignoble High Arc. Shot in Dock Hand. Regular Retro Foil. Shot in Port on a Murpho. This is last pack of box number two. 
I've had packs try to hide, so I always like to check, and it turns out I can't put any pressure on the box. They just fall over. So that's our indicator if the box is empty, whether or not it falls over. Mountain Etch Suspend, Floodhound. We have Mishra's Factory, Borderless. Couple of etched foils. Search the premises. And that does it for box number two. So less fetches here in box number two, but did have that force negation. So definitely a really nice box. Did have these two come out of this box. And I believe we also had found that scalding tar, maybe that Mesa etched. So less fetches, but very nice box regardless. Both boxes have been very nice, so I'm curious to see what we'll find here in box number three, our halfway points of this case of collector boosters. Trying to figure out what I actually want to show off in our recap. Might just go over our assorted foils and, of course, the pile of goodies. I feel like it'd be a bit ridiculous to go over every single pile because then that's not really a recap, that's just redoing the whole video. I like this card, so shiny. That squirrel's mind is blown. He's never seen something so shiny his entire life. Swamp, Brea's Apprentice. Another ignoble hierarch. Pure the Volatile, etched. Goblin Engineer, regular foil. Resurgent Belief, Dacon, Shadow Slayer, Monoskillion, Etched, Scalding Tarn, Etched, and a Foil Shardless Agent, Borderless. So who are we missing now on our Etched Fetches? We are missing Misty. We haven't found any Misty so far in the case. Speaking of Misty, you guys see that number that we're at right now? Depending on what time of the day you're watching, it might be 24.9 thousand, might be 25,000 subscribers, but should be officially crossing that mark today. So that's very exciting, very, very excited about that. Which of course means that our 25K special live stream pack opening and also, celebrating 25,000 subscribers, we'll be having 25 different giveaway prizes, opening up a lot of Pokemon, giving away a lot of Pokemon that I've collected, just random, you know, go to Target, limit one, pick up something, whether it be a tin, whether it be a pack, have some Digimon in there, some Series 2 hockey, have a couple Mega Boxes, 25 different giveaways, and it'll be a Misty cosplay. So I said Misty, that long story short, Misty, Misty, we love Misty here. That's coming to the channel most likely next Thursday. I want to do it on a Thursday, so most likely next Thursday. We have Fury extended our, our Borderless Mythic. That's very excited. I woke up this morning. I was like, whoa, I think we're going to cross the mark today. So I am very pleased about that. So we have Etched Rashad and Dockhand and Academy Manufacturer. I'm hoping we get the full suite of Etched Fetches. Now I'd be upset we don't find a Misty and we found the other four. And the bonus little Prismatic Vista, Void Mirror, Vernant Command, Ornithopter Paradise. I just like the name of that card. Have you all seen those new secret layers coming out? There's a Birds of Paradise foil coming in one of them. Douthy Void Voidwalker etched foil, nice. Necrogoyf. Now you can play Goyf Tribal. Suspend, Mind Collapse, Magmatic Sinkhole, Mind Collapse Etched, Enchantress's Presence Etched, and Out of Time Extended Art. Love Glimmer Baron. I did manage to keep that one that we pulled in the set booster for me because I wanted it because it's so cute. Now I want to collect the other variants. We have Shardless Agent, non-foil, 
Talisman of Ararchy, Blacksmith Skill, Kyrian Ranger, Archmage's Charm. Now that's a nice one as well. Dacon, Shadow Slayer, Mythic Foil. Nice, nice. I remember when Archmage's Charms were like $2.99 a piece. I remember that because I remember listing them. Uh, not too long after Modern Horizons came out, but we did have a ton. And they were $2.99 a piece. Those were the days. But also, I remember when Force Negations were like $25. So. And then I remember when they were $40. I bought one for my friend for a holiday. I was like, hey, I know you've been looking for one of these. We had one come into the shop. So I, I got it like 36 or something. And now they're $85 regular. Weather the Storm. Step Through Etched. Bam! Etched. And Necrogoid. Like I said, I never, I, I never had Vine growing up. I, I never actually watched any Vines. I just know the Dab Daniel meme. And I feel compelled to say it every time we pull that card. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm not funny. Something along those lines. All right. Continuing here. Second half of box number three. So far, box number three, I mean, we did have that Tarn etched. But other than that... Archmage's Charm was cool. Dacon was cool. But, I mean, come on. Box number two, three. It's not comparable to box number two or even box number one, in my opinion. Let's see if we can find something to change that. We have Gaedron Dehada. Karth the Lion etched. Regular foil Retro Verdant. That's nice. That's quite nice. I'd like to pull the full suite of fetches and regular retro and etched retro. We're so close on the etched. Please give us a misty etched. Please. Please case. I believe. Chitter spitter. I like it. I like that name. Another Cabal Coffers. Love that art. Glimmer Baron. Out of time etched. Dress down. Foil. Just want to sleeve up the coffers. I was actually quite surprised, even with, of course, the new reprints, the borderless, and the, the regular art versions. Original Cabal Coffers from what? Scourge or whatever? It's still quite expensive. We actually had someone sell a collection. It was very cute. They're selling their collection, a portion of their collection, to propose to their girlfriend. So I thought that was cute. I mean, it's unfortunate to have to sell, but it is what it is. But the card was really, really beat up. Really, I put it as damage because there were, there were really, really heavy scratches on the back. And I was like, yeah, yeah, TCG guidelines might qualify as heavy play. But no, anybody looking at that card should be like, that's damaged. Yeah, it was still like $44. I was like, this card just got reprinted. Why is a damaged one $44? I was like, well, that's still nice. We have an etched Aeromoeba Flying Manatee. Diamond Lion and Diamond Lion Extended Art Foil. Aramoeba returns. The persist. Shenanigans. And Misty Etched. We did it. We made the full set and a regular Marge Flats. We're working on our regular retro set. Nice. You love to see it. You love to see it. That was that was the pack you wanted to buy out of this box was second to last on the right side. If you just wanted a one-pack magic it, that would have been it. That would have been it. That's nice. Now we have, look at that. Look at all those fetch lands and the Prismatic Vista. Prismatic Vista's just chilling, being like, yeah, I am I fit in here. It's a basic fetch. I'd consider the set complete without it, but I like that it's there. Definitely a nice pull. But all right, last pack here of box number three. Box number three, coming in at the end with some nice pieces. Calibrated Blast. Solitude. Almost have the whole cycle there of those mythics. Ornithopter of Paradise. Cursed Totem. Ooh, Borderless Titania, Protector of Argoth. Foil. Nice. Like I said, there's so many mythics in the set that I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot this one existed. Even though we pulled an etch one earlier, forgot that there was a Borderless one. Some really nice art. Part of me, I'm glad I never did it, but starting 
with the first borderless cards. And actually, even starting with the extended arts, when the Ultimate Masters came out, I was like, I want to collect that set. And then I'm like, yeah, there's like, what, 42 of them? Nah, that's too much. And I'm glad I didn't because I would have felt compelled to get all of them. I'm still holding off, but at one point I would like to make a set of all of the masterpieces. Love all those old lands. They're not super old, but... Land, which they've adjusted. I remember I was thinking about it, and then we actually had gotten a near-mint play set of Scalding Tarns, the Expeditions. And I was like, oh, how much are these? And I looked up, they were 400. Now they're like at mid-200s. But back, I was like, yeah, that's a pipe dream. But one day, at least, at least, at least, I want to make the invocations. Now, you guys are going to hate me for this. You may have heard me say it on the channel before, or if this is your first time here, be like, wow, this chick's weird. I don't like her anymore. Uh, I, my favorite masterpieces are the Amonkhet and Hour of Devastation invocations. Those are my favorites. The Yes, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards are my favorites. Hey, we have an extended art Yabimaya. Eh, I'm sleeving up the lands, put in the cool pile. Another Garth. Look at that black lotus, sleeve it up. What? But yeah, those are my those are actually my favorites. I just I love the way they look. Foil Esper Sentinel. Retro, that's nice. Not sure if it's sleeveable. I know on pre-order the regulars were $32.50. But I think those have dropped. Or it just could be we're sold out. That's why they're not selling, because we don't have any. Definitely curious to see the price is going forward though. Of course, the product is very, very expensive. But I mean, each box that we've opened so far, if you bought it for, if you actually had bought each of these boxes for around 400, I think you would have made your money back on every one. And Mark Grave, just based purely on how many fetch lands we're getting in foil variations. Still definitely a lot to throw down, but I think you're getting better value out of these collector boosters than, say, like, Call Time. The Zenekar Rising ones still aren't bad because, of course, you do have those those new style expedition lands. But not all collector boosters are created equal. Extended Art Foil Piru. And our 10,000th Squirrel Token. I know they are all double-sided tokens, so yes, I'm seeing a lot of squirrels. Doesn't mean they are all the same, but I'm just, I just keep seeing that one cute squirrel picture over and over again. But actually, it seems like we are getting more etched foils than our regular retro foils. So that does convey to me the reasoning behind why the etched foils are cheaper than the regular retro. Of course, I know people do prefer the regular retro. Um, Time Spell Remastered showed us how much people love retro border style foils. That was really fun opening that up. We opened up a decent amount here on the channel. Of course, had the live stream Liliana opens time spiral half, we did a half case and then some personal breaks then that was really fun that was also on a thursday night but it does make sense that the regular retro style foils are more expensive than the etched especially if they're harder to pull all right here we go profane tutor is that a monkey it is we have ragavan nimble pilfer you get a sleeve glimmer baron again I love him. Inevitable Betrayal Foil. I believe the Ragavan Borderless non-foils are in the 60s. He's an expensive monkey. Expensive monkey pirate. Sorry, sorry, I dropped the pirate part. Sorry, sir, you are also a pirate. And of course, I'm sure there's cards that I'm putting in the regular piles. Be like, Al, you pulled out the Cabal Coffers. That's cheaper than whatever you left in that pile. I'm sure. I'm sure. Hey, look at that. We have a Tarn. Hey, box number four is doing pretty good so far. But these are just my personal highlights off the stuff I know off the top of my head currently. Prismatic Ending. Giver of Runes. Mom. Or she's aunt, right? Mother of Runes is mom. And Giver of Runes is the aunt. Yo, box number four is pretty lit. That's all I'm saying. That was the same pack, right? Come back here. The aunt can hang out with us, but like, bruh. You know, I originally started saying bruh, like ironically, and now I actually use this part of my vocabulary. The dangers of saying stuff ironically. Just be careful. 
If you say oo ironically, you might just actually just start saying oo Thankfully, I don't. It's just bruh has become a regular part of my vocabulary. Sometimes I feel like it's just a good expression. You just need just bruh. But I feel like every time I say it, I sound stupid. To be fair, I feel like that most of the time, but hey. It be like that sometimes. Dalthy Voidwalker, another nice rare pull. We found a couple of those. Verdict Command, Scale Up, Galvanic Relay, Crazy Card, Jinxie, I did it twice. I attempted to do it twice. We have Garth One Eye, Retro Style, Regular Foil, Asmora Nomar Dick Cast. No. This card's driving me insane. I want to be able to say it. I want to impress people by just busting it out. I mean, like, wow, Ali, you can say that word? Yeah. Asmoranomardikadastinaculadar. Dakar. Cool Dakar. Asmoranomardik. Kadastinacul Dakar. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. I'll try again next time we find one. Which, we might not find another one. That's only the second one we found. It's just a rare. Did find one. I was actually, I believe, our first extended art. And then that etched foil. Hey, Marsh Flats. Welcome. Welcome, Marsh Flats. Late to dinner. Thrasta. Big Dino. Hi, Dino. I like the art. Although I don't think anybody's particularly chasing Thrastas in this product. Etched Cabal Coffers. It's the first actually I've seen of those, and an, a sketch ignoble. Nice. That was also a very nice pack. Does it beat the double scalding tarn? Not certain. Mainly because I don't know the price of the cabal coffers. That's actually, like I said, that's the first etched cabal coffers that I've seen. I'm surprised. It, it drives me a bit insane. I'm like, why do some of these regular etched foils exist? Because it throws it throws me off. It's because we get we're getting. We're getting the retro boil etched. I'm like, all right. I'm ready for that. I'm prepared. I got piles for it. And then it's like regular art. And it's like, why are you etching regular arts? I thought we had a foil ignoble already. Ah, it was an etched ignoble. Okay. Do we have any sketches, sketch variants in here? All right. Well, you need to go in the back with the etch boys. You can hang out with ignoble high arc. And we don't have any sketch boys, so I guess you'll just stay on top. I'll put the etched cabal coffers in the back. So there's some semblance of order to this dope pile. All right, all right. Glimmer Bairn. Timeless Dragon. Nykthos Paragon. Defile. Galvanic Relay. Step Through. Gaia's Will. And Ave. Progenitor Ooze. Soul Talisman. Another Esper Sentinel. Etched Marsh Flats Mishra's Factory Foil. Chef's Kiss. Another Titania, non-foil this time, though. Underworld Cookbook, Tribute Mage, another etched High Arc, and a foil extended art, Yavi Maya. Nice. A lot of sleevables in that pack as well. Overall, though, I'm just really impressed with the set. I'm a bit jealous. On Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, we're actually running a draft tournament for Modern Horizons 2. It's only 25 bucks because, you know, the packs are expensive. So it's not, there's no actual, there's no actual extra being kept for the prize pool. But Bossman is actually giving away one of those, I think one of the eight foot, uh, either an eight foot or one of the six foot table mats. And those are so cool looking. So I'm a little, I'm a little bit jealous. And the table mats for Modern Horizon 2 aren't like the regular ones. Like there's a monkey play mat. There's a lot of Mythics as play mats. There's the Ragavan, there's the Chatterfang. 
Um, but the actual, the, the big ones have the, the mythic cycle, fury, solitude, solemnity, grief, and the, the green one, like a cross. So those look really cool, but can't be there. Be fun though. Sanctum Weaver, Ignoble Etched, or er, Sketch, no. Huh. So many variants, I keep confusing myself. Regular Retro Foil, Ice Fang Quaddle. All right, two packs left here in box number four. Box number four has had a lot of nice cards. Box number two did have that Force Negation though, so. Curious to see if we'll find another one. But tons of nice cards here. Looks like we have a Counterspell Borderless coming up. Bone Shards, Mystic Redaction. We have an etched Sivulin of Sea and Sky. It's a nice mythic. Zabaz, the Glitter Wasp, Extended Art Foil. All right, last pack. I believe that Sivulin is quite expensive as well. Probably go ahead and kidnap her for our cool pile. Territorial Kavu. Is that a Gaia drone? Yes. Knew it. Saw the little tentacle peeking out. Necrogoif. And all right, time to try again. Asmora Namar de Kadias Denacula Kuldar. Kuldakar. We're improving. We're improving. We're improving. Sleeve up the etched Sylvulin. All right. Where's our etched boys in the back here hanging out with force negation? I eat cool. All right, so that does it here for box number four. Like I said, though, each box we're finding a lot of nice cards. Even if I'm not putting them in the sleeve pile, we're finding lots of ignobles, lots of Asper Sentinels. We're finding you know, crazy name card. We're finding lots of rares. Not so many borderless cards as I would like, but they're all mythics, so it makes sense. We're finding more of the extended art rares than the borderless mythics. But would love to improve this count. We're four boxes in. And have I kidnapped? I know I kidnapped a regular, two regular Cabal Coffers in the Ragavan. We haven't, we've only, four boxes, we've only had three foil borderless mythics. I'd like to up that number here in box number five. Hope, let's find two, so that way we average at least one per box. We find a foil grief. Or the monkey. The monkey foil is $125. Let's find foil monkey. All right, here we go. Plain Sanctifier on Vec. Fractured Sanity. Talisman of Curiosity. Bone Shredder. Braids Cabal Minion. Out of Time. Rise and Shine, Talisman of Creativity, Glimmer Baron, Etched, Force of Vigor, Etched, and Sanctifier, Extended Art Foil Rare. Master of Death, Endurance, we do have a Borderless Mythic here. Patchwork Gnomes and Persist, Archmage's Charm, Regular Retro Foil, Brea's Apprentice, Lonus, Ornithopter of Paradise, Chatterstorm, Garth One Eye, Etched Mythic, Sylvan Anthem, Zero fetches so far here in box number five. We're on pack number five of this box. Pack five, box five. We do have a Verdant. Moderation. Conviction. Riptide Laboratory. Master of Death Extended Art Foil. All right, last pack on the left half of the box.
Necrogoyf. Grief. That's our second grief of the case. Inevitable Betrayal and Profane Tutor. Regular Retrofoil. Diamond Lion. Sylvan Anthem. Step Through. Terminal Agony. Sterling Grove. Gaia's Will. Slender Art Foil Rare. Suspend. Search the premises. Weather the storm. Hall of Hilliard's generosity. And Pier of the Volatile regular retrofoil. Definitely in need for some matte housekeeping at the end of this box. Piles are getting out of control. Void mirror. Another shardless agent. Ornithopter of Paradise, Ranger Captain of Eos, Mythic Etched, and Nykthos Paragon Foil Showcase Rare. Chitter Spitter, Calder Complete, Nested Shambler, Ice Fan Caudal. And Marsh Flats foil. Nice. Extended art foil Marsh Flats. Looks like I never sleeved up that Verdant, so let me take care of those two right now. Definitely a nice growing pile here. Would like to find one more force though in the case. Then I can think I think we can say we had a bonkers case. And all right, two packs left here in box number five. And we get to tidy up our piles and move on into our final collector booster box of the day. We do have, I think, a total of three draft boosters to open up, three bundles. We have an Urza Saga, that's very nice. Liquid Metal Torque, Nevenrol's disc, and a Drone sketch. I believe these Sketch Urza Saga non-foils are about 40. Probably sleeve it. Glimpse of Tomorrow. Sign of Draco. We did have another box without a, well, maybe actually there's something back there. Let me not speak too soon. Patriarch's Bidding. It is a Thrasta. Thrasta Borderless Foil Mythic. Let me go back and sleeve the Urza Saga. All right. Okay, so box is empty. Box number five complete. Let's tidy up these piles. And then we'll move on into box number six. I thought in the first box we'd have a lot of difficulty with all of our piles. However, I do think our piles are turning out better than I had anticipated. Especially since there are no actual extended art foil myth extended art mythics. They're all borderless. So although there are borderless rares and borderless mythics, don't need two separate piles for rarities on the extended arts. Which does make the middle row look a lot nicer. And also the more I'm seeing of the etched foils versus the regular, the easier they are to tell apart. I still, <laughs> still, why, why, why? Why are we getting a different style of etched foil? It feels every single time. Of course, this is more similar to those Commander Legends ones, but they're still not. The Commander Legends ones I like because the colors were super, super bright. You could tell immediately looking at them. Of course, the texture looked weird. Initially, that's the first time we saw the like grainy texture, but like So we still have that grainy texture here. It's just the coloration is 
so similar that it definitely you definitely have to double check. You definitely have to double check. And I feel like people might get their orders from TCG Player and be like, is this etched? I can't I can't really tell. Oh. Definitely seems like annoying for sorting purposes. I do like the way they look. Would I personally grab them over the regular foils? I don't think so, but I do like I, I like the textured look to them. I just I wish it was more pronounced. You know, I wish you could more easily tell just by looking at it. Me like that's an etched foil instead of like, all right, it's in the etched foil slot, I guess. Anyways, here we go. Starting off box number six, we got a void mirror. Harmonic Prodigy, King of the Pride, Terminal Agony, King of the Pride, Etched, Ave Progenitor Ooze, and Gaia Drone Dahana. She's so pretty, and then it's like, but there's tentacles. I know some of y'all probably like that, but for me, it's like, eh. She's scary. Would not want to run into her anywhere. Nowhere. Especially not a Walmart parking lot at like 4 a.m. That would just be like, oh, Allie just disappeared. What happened? I don't know. She met the weird tentacle lady. We never heard from her ever again. Sarah's Emissary. First time I've seen that card. <laughs> Aramiba etched Squirrel Mob and Persist regular retro foil. So many Aramibas in this case. Burb token. Usri. Vindicate, Lava Belly Sliver, Etch Tarn, and Moderation Foil. Hello, Scalding Tarn, my old friend. I think the land we found the most of has been Tarn now, which definitely is nice. Or at least one has been Misty, which is unfortunate, but at least we found one. But having the most of Tarn is definitely very nice. Ooh, I see foil retro. What is it? It's not force negation. Piru. Lots of Pirus in all foils. Damn! Extended art foil. Damn! Extended art foil, Daniel. All right, almost meeting the halfway point. Uh, box number six. Marsh flats. Priest of Felrites. Couple etch foils, Glimpse of Tomorrow, Scalding Tarn is, I think, I was already pretty sure, but I think 100% has to be in the lead now. And we'll get those sleeved up after we're done here. Pack number six. Pack six, box six. Kavu. Torok, Dread Cantor. Territorial Kavu. Foil. As Moranomar de Cadae Stenacula da Car. Every time is a step in the right direction? Question mark. I'm sure there's an audio clip I can just listen to it, but I want to figure it out naturally. Although that is a very unnatural word. Is it even a real word? Is it? Or is it just like a bunch of prefixes and suffixes strung together to make into like something that has meaning? What does that mean? Is that just... It's a human wizard. Is that their name? I don't even know. We've had three of the five in the regular retro foil. We've had all of them in the etched foil. I mean, we have six packs left. In theory, we could find them, but I doubt it. But I'd love to complete our set. Let's see if we can complete our set. And like I said, want to find another force of negation. We only have one. I want more. I'm greedy. Ornithopter Paradise. Solitary Confinement. And the first sliver. That's cool. I don't know if you get sleeves, so I'm going to put you in the regular pile. My apologies, progenitor sliver, man, uh, if you're supposed to be sleeves. The first. The OG. Le original. Tarn. Endless Tarns. Urza Saga. It's our second one. Cook 
Book Etched, Shardless Agent Etched, and Vindicate Foil. So many scalding cards. I love it. I love it. How many scalding cards do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One point one eight approximately per box, right? One point one five, somewhere in there. Let's find another one. <laughs> Yabby Maya extended art. Am I doing the regular Yabby Mayas? Subtlety. Etchings of the chosen, non etched. Sanctifier and Chitter Spitter. I don't remember if I was picking out the regular Yabby Mayas. I am. Hey. If I can't remember, that means I probably shouldn't, but hey. This stuff will all get sleeved eventually. If I had to guess, probably get listed on TCG Player, or it might be kept for more in-store singles. I know we do have a very full binder ready for people to pick through once the shop opens later today. Fridays, we do open at 1. I'm just here ridiculously early, because I know I have a lot of long videos to record and lots to pack up, so... Definitely going to be here for a while. Dermo Taxi. Love the name of that card. Counterspell Etched. Another first sliver, this time etched. And Douthy Voidwalker. Regular retro foil. That's nice. Two packs left. Let's see if we can achieve our dream of two sets of foil fetches. And. I mean, we have a. We have, there's a fetch. Arid Mesa. And another Force Negation. Root Walla. Might be a foil grief, though. I mean, we take that. Ah, uh, nah, it's, it's that the little bug boy. Plague Engineer and Grist the Hunger Tide. Hey, but actually, two Moralist Mythics in this box. And I know, I originally thought Grist was the whole creature in the irregular card, but it looked like, it looked like a little skeleton. It looks different here, so I think Grist is actually the bug. Little, little bug boy in there. little insect. Anyways, last pack. Last pack of truth here. Last pack of the case. And we find an eighth scalding tarn. <laughs> Give us more tarns, please. Or misties. We have only one misty. I'm sad about only one misty, but it is what it is. What are you? It's another grist. Welcome, grist. Underworld cookbook. Bone shards. Mind collapse. Wonder. And a foil arid mesa. So... Were we missing the Misty again? Was that what was missing? Was the regular foil Misty? That does it here for box number six. Eat that box. Don't need it. It was. We were missing the Misty. So we were actually very close. Very, very close. Still think that's quite impressive. Definitely a lot of nice stuff. We actually had two Misties. We had an extended art Misty. So we actually did have the full set in extended art as well extended art and etched foils non-foil in the extended arts but anyways i need to go ahead and clean up our play mats let me take care of that not going to do a recap of our commons uncommons lands tokens also i just knocked over a bunch of common no my apologies to unbounded potential wave sifter that's a cool looking goldfish and these other three you all are not the chosen common foils. I'm not going to go over these piles either. And I'll move these out of the way as well. I think this here will be a pretty comprehensive recap. I'm running out of shelf space so i just gotta start stacking stuff where it fits we're of course going to start off our recap with that pile of sleeved goodies definitely a lot of nice things there and you can see our respective piles of foil variants etched was the most followed by retro and actually the one we found the least of was the sketch 
showcase foils, which is surprising. Usually collector boosters have showcase foils out the wazoo. In terms of rares and mythics, not too many here, although we did get a ton of common and uncommon sketch showcase foils. But anyways, let's start off with what I picked out to be the cream of the crop. Of course, there could be things missing in here. I'm certain there's stuff that should be sleeved that I didn't pull out. I don't know everything off the top of my head, but look at this nice pile, nice thick stack, primarily of lands. So let's go ahead and take a look. We have two sketch showcase Urza Saga, and we just pulled out the one foil. We had an ignoble high arc, then for our regular retro foils, we had one Mesa, Marsh Flats, Tarn, Verdant, and a Yabby Maya. For non lands, we also had that Chatterfang. I like these, so I pulled them out. We had two Cabal Coffer Borderless. We also had one Ragavan. For our extended art foils, we had a Yabby Maya, a Marsh Flats, and a Scalding Tarn. And for non-foils, we had three Tarns, a Mesa, a Misty, two Verdants, two Marsh Flats, and two Yabby Mayas. Only found one Force of Negation in the case was an Etched Foil. We also had Etched Sivulin and, and two Ignobles. And for our lands, we had two Tarns, a Misty, a Marsh, two Marsh Flats, a Mesa, a Verdant, a Vista. And then also, non-old non border, but regular art Cabal Coffers. And that's a lot of really nice etch foils. But yeah, let me go up, do a final count on our scalding tarns. Ridiculous amounts of scalding tarns in this case. Like I said, definitely a nice one. If it wasn't misty, definitely nice to have a bunch of scalding tarns. Misty was the one we found the least. Just one extended art, one etch foil. And yeah, final tarn counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tarns out of six boxes. Definitely like that. Definitely like that. So that was our most plentiful land here out of the case. But anyways, let's go ahead and do our other recap. Let's start off, let's go this way. Out of the six boxes, we did end up with a total of six Borderless Mythics box number six coming in clutch with both the Gaia Drone and the Grist. We did have box number four that missed one. So it was nice to see that a box had two, averaging one per box. And for our other borderless cards, did find, I think, two total griefs. Yep, just two griefs in the entire case of any style. And then for the rare borderless foils, one counter spell, one of each, I believe. Counter spell, shardless agent, mistress factory, and vindicate. I believe those are the only ones that exist looks to be the case. There's our non-foils. For our other extended art foils, did have that crazy named card, which is nice. A couple of dams, a couple of Gaia's wills. We found a lot of foil pirus of all types, etched, regular, and extended art. Timeless Dragon looks super cool in foil. And for our non-foil extendeds, we'll just, just pan through them. That, you're not supposed to be there. All right. Terrell Toriel Kavu is a nice card. I like Timeless Dragon. Douthy Voidwalker is very nice. A couple of dabs. Sanctum Weaver. We did have two Douthy Voidwalkers. All right, for our showcase variant rares and mythics, they are mixed in this pile. Now is where we start the mixed piles. Have a cauldron complete. Did have also several Esper Sentinels and Ignobles. For Garth, Gaia Drone, Dacon, more Ignobles. Another Esper Sentinel. Oh, we actually had another Urza. Oh man, sleep that up. Three Urza sagas. Urza Saga was one of the first ones and I didn't sleeve it. Shame on me. Shame on me. So that's cool. Three Urza Sagas in our showcase variants. No right, no other ones, but did have those. For our foils, like I said, these were the least amount of variant foils that we found. There was an Esper Sentinel in here. A couple Mythics as well. Cauldra Complete. For our 
Retro regular foils did have a Douthy first sliver. That's not regular foil. Archmage's Charm. Garth. The sword. And for our etched, with the recently repiled Ave Progenitor Ooze, which is etched. Like I said, it bothers me that there's regular arts and old border framed arts in the etched. I don't know why. Why? It's throwing off. I want to have them in their own piles. Wizards. First sliver again. Territorial Kavu. Ice Fang Quaddle. Hollow Heliod Generosity. A Garth. Gaia's Will. Crazy name. Damn. Archmage's Charm times two. A second Voidwalker. Couple of nice duplicates, couple of caudals in here, couple of void walkers, couple of dams. So definitely nice pulls. I feel each pile did have nice pulls in every one. Could have had better hits here on our borderless mythics. Would have loved to seen a foil grief. Would have loved to see just more of these in general. I really like the arts on the extended art or the borderless mythics. So would have loved to see more. Just love the way they look. Super cool. But very happy with our pulls. Like I said, had a lot of sleeved cards. I'm sure there's more that was supposed to be sleeved, but very happy. And I love that we found so many Scalding Tarns. Definitely a great land to pull seven of in just six boxes. Would have loved to see a second Force of Negation, but we had the full suite of etched fetches. Missing just a Misty to complete that full suite of regular retro foil etches. We had a set of extended arts for the fetches as well. So definitely doing very well here on our lands. Yabby Mayas, Cabal Coffers, the five fetches, just that one Prismatic Vista for that little bonus fetch. And of course, um, Urza Saga. Did find multiples of those in the sketch variants. But that does it here for this first opening of Collector Boosters for Modern Horizons 2 on the Titan Cards channel. I had a great time. I know this is a super long video, so not sure if you guys just clicked on that link to get here to the recap or if you watched the whole thing. I appreciate you checking the video out. If you enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me. Let me know which was your favorite card that I pulled variants of here in this box. Are you crazy about the Scalding Tarns? Do you love the way the Borderless Cabal Coffers and that we found three Cabal Coffers in this case? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But that does it for me on Collector Boosters today. Do have a lot more Modern Horizons 2 openings coming. Like I said, I think we have a total of three bundles, three draft boosters, and also one more set booster coming, as well as some Pokemon Chilling Rain openings as well. So busy schedule today. Make sure you check back on the channel later for more videos. But that does it in this one. Before I get out of here, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. Do have eight Black Label fans, and then Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kirill Soltari, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. Also do have 12 Gem Mint fans. Alberto M., Chicago Infinity, Chris Rivers, D. Von, Dusty Archuleta, Jayachi Geek, Jake Rhino C., Joe Howe, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But thank you so much again to all of our channel members. And all members do have their name shown on screen at the end of every video. But that does it for me here in this video this morning. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!